afternoon. Welcome to another vlog. Hope we do well. Hope we're having a great week. It's been a fantastic week of weather. Fantastic time to be on a bike cycling. And as you can see, short sleeve. Wow! Short sleeve for the only second time this year. So I'm back in North Lincolnshire in Crawl. It is a Friday as I'm recording this, so it's an after work ride. Just to reacquaint myself with the area, really. So I'm just heading north out to Common Side towards the, uh, what do they call it now? Moors. And uh, I'm going to turn around and come back again, head toward East Fleet, uh, East, East Toft, that's it, East Toft. Yep. Turn around, come back again. I'd probably go down Godner Road and uh, around the canal. Uh, yeah, just a couple, uh, couple hours on the bike, if that, because I've got a big weekend of riding up yet again. Of course, of course. Not crazy distances, but uh, for me, pretty mediocre. Going out both Saturday and Sunday in the Peak District. So tomorrow, I'm um, not actually going to be riding alone. I meet up with a lady called Karen, who's hoping to do the jog later this year, and the London Marathon as well. So she got in touch. Uh, we've known each other through friends of friends, actually. Ridden together a couple of times. And she, yeah, she got in touch and said, can you help me out with the hills? And I said, yep, yeah, I'm going to be doing plenty this year. Feel free to enjoy, join me for a few events. So might well be seeing Karen a few times over the next few months. So we're going to the P District. Said, want me to introduce her to the hills. So I've... Uh, Gonna be introducing her to the Foggett Lane at <laughs> the strides. I'm sure I'm hopefully we're still in touch <laughs> after we've been up the strides and then home moss. Uh, I think the strides is probably harder than the mo home moss, but uh, we shall see. Uh Saturday, Sunday's ride by myself. Um I think Karen signed up for a half marathon on the Sunday. We was gonna hoping to to go uh, Peter should both days together but uh, fortunately she used to do a little bit of running Mr. the left turn. Yeah, well, going back again. To find out. Just missed me doing some off-road action. <laughs> I was determined to get through. I was doubling back. I thought, I'm going to get through there. And look, because it's been dry for weeks on end, it was easy, easy done. But back in crawl, I took a wrong turn. I ended up going to crawl moors by mistake. Oops. I tell you what I don't miss about being over here. <laughs> the wind so flat gets very windy, it gets very windy. Right. Hands on the bars, hands on the underbars. Back into crawl to go, then east soft, crawl. There's some rocks. <laughs> so this is very much a shorter video than of late. Uh, I've actually tested out a new toy. I'm recording this on an Insta360. You may have noticed already up to this point. This is the second time I'm riding out. 
rode out with uh, Tony, mate Tony, earlier this week or last weekend. And uh, well, just before last weekend, did a trial, messed about the software. Would have used some of it, except the uh, story wasn't very uh, coherent, so I just deleted the lot. So this is kind of the first vlog using the 360. Of course, I've still got the uh, GoPro and I probably mix up the footage every now and again. That's a lot of rapeseed right there. So I'm arriving in East Toft, recording on the GoPro. See if there's any much difference in terms of audio. So I'm going to stop for a moment and show you the bike that I'm riding, for those of you who are new to the channel. Hello. So when I get to East Toft, what I'm going to do, heading towards Ludington, and turn around and come back on up on the back road. Just uh, get myself reacquainted with the area because it's been six months since I've ridden here. Ludington Road. And so, yeah, I've just uh, pulled up the bike, stuck against the wall, and all of a sudden, all the traffic suddenly turns up from nowhere. It's starting to get back to normal, isn't it? It's scary. So, this bike is the Rue for a P17, I think. It's my hybrid. I got it back in 2000 and God, 2019 now, September or something like that. So this week I started going back to work in person and I actually jumped on this bike on Wednesday. Um, it's double the commute to work now though. In my previous job, uh, it was 40 minutes there, 45 minutes. Well, about now, well, close to 40. Now it's like 80, 85 minutes. So I've been thinking about just going halfway in the car and things like that because obviously I still want to be enjoying my uh, road bike and but at the same time it's good training isn't it uh, so anyway my work patterns are one week in the office and then one week working from home so next week what I'm planning to do is start to go back to the gym um, a bit of put about 40 minutes in at the gym and then start working from home whereas I can't do that at the moment and I won't be able to do that when I get back to work properly as well so I'd be after I'll be gymming on an evening time sort of thing. Got Continental Contact tyres on, they're starting to show a little bit of wear and I think looking online on uh, that website, was it bicycling resistance or something? Bicycle resistance, whatever it's called. I think they really got lots of resistance so um, and probably thinking about getting better tyres for commuting on, especially as the uh, commute distance <laughs> is increased considerably. So yeah, just thinking about next week and these rides on an evening time. Now I'm going to go to the gym in the morning. Uh, <laughs> typical. I think the weather's, weather's changing next week to uh, rain and shower. You know, rainy showers, which is kind of typical in here when you can't ride because you're at work. It's glorious sunshine, blue skies, and then the moment you can get riding again, it starts to rain. So it's a lot. Hopefully that'll change, but I don't know. So I start make most of these sunny days. I don't know why you can see the picture, but look at all those wind turbines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh god, there's about sixteen. <laughs> so many. So yeah, I'm just heading back towards East Off on a back road. I have actually got a KOM down here. Believe it or not, me, yes, a KOM. The guy who's now second since summer of last year has gone back to Australia. <laughs> so you never know, I might keep a hold of this for a bit longer. It's kind of one of those roads where you won't really go down it because it doesn't really go anywhere. It's just kind of a back road. Well, yeah, I had a stonking tailwind this one time. Well, probably thought it got the KOM. Look 
thing about this Insta360 though is uh, nice to do shots like this. Got a long selfie stick with my hands. Actually goes out a little bit further than this, but it's quite difficult to extend while you're on the move. Those uh, tyres I've got on this bike, Continental Contacts, you know, I may not actually change it because really tyres aren't going to make much difference. The biggest difference what will be made, can be made, is when I don't have to keep logging on my laptop and cables to work every day. Because at the moment that's what I'm having to do. Just in case uh, somebody tests positive, we can then revert to working from home again. So. That, I mean, I've been doing that when I was at the last job as well. Laptop to and from work. It's just this extra weight in it. It's a lot of weight carrying a laptop and lunch and everything else. So I think it's going to be at least mid May, possibly mid June, before we get back to work properly. Right, that's it for me, folks. I'll see you again soon. It's a quick 30k for me today, not even that. Heading to the Peak District this weekend, get some great footage. Hope to share that with you in the next few days. As always, don't forget to uh, get in touch in the comments below. Tell me what you're up to, what you've been up to this week, has it been good for you? What you've been doing with these longer days and all this sunshine? Making the most of it? I've got all my plans coming together nicely. Got still got a bit more to do. I'll we'll definitely be sharing you, those with you over the coming weeks. Anyway, for me, take care. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.